Welcome back to the channel. Well, as I, I stated previously, um, time I'm going to take this carburetor off and clean that out, go through it, see what I can. Hopefully, we can get this thing running a little bit better. Um, this ZB. We're back on the ZB again. So, here I'm going to put the sun. Hopefully, it's at, at your back and in my face. That way you can see. But, uh, yeah, I want to take this carb off. Which I've seen several carbs on the on the channel. But, uh, what's what's another one? There we go. That's off. We'll unhook the gas. clean this out too and I might even actually I might clean out this center bowl as well I don't know how clean it actually is I thought I turned the gas off so all right that might be easier to take that off on the bench so okay Nice day today, that's for sure. Comes Nicholas, the hot rod. You'll be able to hear him come up the driveway. Nicholas, was huh? That was not you wasn't intentional. You squealing the tires? Oh, I had them. There's a car coming, but I had time. I had to on it. Oh yeah. There's a couple snake lines on the end of that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Snake snake lines? Yeah. Oh, I never. I don't know if I ever heard them called that. But uh huh. Yeah. And these are tires, anyways. Yeah, not yet. What? You're you're paying for the tires, not me. Well, I know. You know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't fool me. <laughs> I, yeah, it wasn't intentional, my eye. <laughs> but I was a kid once. <sighs> but I didn't have a pickup with that much go go, though. I can remember my first well my first vehicle that I drove car really wasn't mine but you know as a licensed driver was a 1986 uh, Chevy Celebrity Eurosport if you remember them had the big motor 2.5 four-cylinder four-door it was a good car actually it was a real good car uh, but all right, Ooh, we gotta unhook the unhook the rod here. I might have to grab a pair of. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll grab a pair of pliers. Okay. Well, then my first pickup was a 1992 Ford F-150 uh, short box. It was a two-wheel drive, had a five-speed manual transmission, and had one, probably one of the best motors ever built, 300 inline six. So, I, li I like that truck. Let's see, after, after that, that got me through high school and a little bit of college, then, uh, then I sold that and bought a 1996. F-150 uh, XLT. My first truck was just an XL. Um, 
there. XLT, and then uh, that was four wheel drive. That was a good truck. Also had the inline six in it. So then I've had many trucks since then. So. All right, let's go inside. Don't need my sunglasses on in here. That's for sure. Okay, I'll move you a little closer. Okay, let's tear this baby apart. Definitely dirty, that's for sure. Yeah. Maybe you should have done that. Oh well. Okay. Well, I'm going to see if I can clean off some of this first. Mm. Lovely. Oh, I only have just a little bit to work on stuffed today. I got the Sports Awards Banquet tonight. Always something. All right. Kids keep you busy, that's for sure. All right, let's take out all the stuff here. So this should, should be a TSX 97. That's what they put on the Z series. This one, the jet is on the bottom here. This one has a drain plug on it too, I see. Right. These all look okay. Mm, I think that's nice. I think it's just a half. Yeah, it's 916. Oh, we're just looking for initial plugs. There, that one's not. That one's good. Okay. Right. We'll take this drain out. 716s. Boy, none of these were very tight. Like I say, I never had this one apart. Don't hear anything in there. That's good. Needle fell right out. That's not the original one. It's got a plastic on the end. Venturi. Feels okay. All right. I have a new gasket, so, because I don't think this one's gonna come off nicely, but I could be wrong. Oh, I was right. <laughs> All right. I have, I've got a new one for it. 
Okay. Boy, it doesn't look horrible. It's not, it's not all rusty like that last one, that five star we were working on. Not even close. Jet out here. Okay. Sometimes you take that seat out. Sometimes it's easy, but not always. say she's clear anyway so that's good I think I'll get her cleaned up some more and we'll put her back together. Okay, I wait for my air compressor to quit. So, all right. Oh, I put this little jet back in there already. Now we're ready to put this back, back together. Needle. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that can go in there. Brand new gasket. Nice. Float. It's in really good shape as well I say that's pretty close usually about a quarter inch is what they tell you to do there okay all them go to the outside take a little more time to um, soak this thing but I didn't but I didn't wonder who come up with the come up with the carburetor first you know who invented the updraft carburetor back to the top all right here's the plug drain should say not a plug it's a drain my bad It doesn't leak. Okay. I already cleaned this out. So that should be good. The nine sixteenths. Yeah. Okay. thread takes forever all right getting close all right there's one let's go two on this one all right idle jet
I like to put these in. I've said before about a turn and you put it all the way in tight, then back it out a turn and a half or so. That'll get you close. Okay, that was a neighbor. So doo -doo. yeah, goes like this. The dirtier end was back here. Okay. I'm not gonna tighten that up tight 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 until we get it on the tractor. Alright, I'll take this with us too. And this and this and come along. If you wanna see something, you better come along. Good to put it on there, but okay. I think we're gonna be good here then. All right, let's look up the governor shaft first. Where you get too ahead of myself? All right. All right, I'll get this all hooked up. Bring See what life's like in fifth gear. <laughs> well, let's check a break here. Yep, that one works good. All right, we'll go down. We'll go down a gear. Check the left brake. Yep. Wow. Looks great, I'd have to say. change the oil on this thing <clears throat> that's what we need to do next for sure yep still charging I'm guessing the oil pressure gauge I don't know if it's working or not cool
Cool. There we go. All right. So wheat. Well, there you have it. Another running and driving tractor on the old Ponderosa here. But uh, I don't know. I just thought maybe that was just a little loose. So I put that on there. But yeah, so I'm going to drop the oil on this. I do have oil filters for these tractors. They are not easy to come by and I don't like to sell them. So I was at an auction sale and I bought a pile of them. And uh, I'm kind of hoarding them, so <laughs> I'm going to need to put some lights on here, or at least put some bulbs, or, you know, the lenses in here. It'll make it look a lot better. We can do that, too. Looks like my, the axle seals uh, on the hubs there. Mm, that's grease. <laughs> so, okay. Those need attention, too. I don't know. We might rake hay with this one. Or the narrow front. This would this would run over less hay, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided yet for sure. I need to probably order me another muffler for this, or put a better clamp on there, or tighten that clamp up for for one thing. But you know, cool beans. Another running and driving tractor. Uh, I can't remember. Is this a fifty four ZB? There's a 53. Now I don't remember. I'll look it up here shortly. I can't believe it charges. That's the next thing. So I need to, we need to check, drop the oil. I'm going to check the oil and the, the air filter too. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. This one here, um, well, that hood, the hood's kind of chewed up a little bit, but that's not bad. This one here, we might actually would uh, consider repainting it someday. We'll see. Needs a good bath, like a lot of us so needs a good grease in too um <laughs> sweet yeah with the with the hood on them lights in there that would, that would look a lot sharper all right let me let me put the hood on real quick and i'll be back okay there we go the hood, the hood is back on let's do a another walk around i'm gonna put lights in that just just for looks whether they work or not that's another thing but just for the looks so it's got decent tires really good rims uh what size are these? These are 12 4 38s. Good year. Um, this tractor I do plan on keeping. That's my plan. I know some of you like to ask what my plans is with the tractors. Well, I don't mind telling you. This one here, I'd like to keep um, many reasons. Uh, one, it's a local tractor. Like I said before, I don't know if you can pick it, pick it up. It says Seabwind Farm Supply, Seabwind, Michigan. That's cool. Um, I did look up the serial number. And this one is a 1953 let's see here they only made 501 zbe's and this is serial number you know 0630017 so it's pretty low pretty low on the uh, production list doesn't really make it worth any more and you know they, they yeah they say if it was the first one or the last one those that's where the money is so so this one is close to the first one, uh, but not the first one. So it's a you know pretty old survivor. That's that's for sure. You know, 1953. That was that was quite a while ago. All right. Well, I am probably going to let the oil drain out, uh, let it drain all night, and then uh, yeah, we'll get that uh, get that out of there, get that changed. I'll get some light bulbs in there. Uh, Talk to John. He's got parts coming for this. They are on their way. So he had uh, all the seals that I needed. Uh, I've got it. I don't want to put that there. That's where I clean that carp. But anyways, I've got um, my cart getting full of stuff from Steiner's. Uh, you know, odds and ends things. Um, I've got a battery box coming. Uh, new leaf springs on there. There were some other things too. So. Uh, plenty and plenty of stuff and then we're gonna get that this I don't think it'll take all that much um, but uh, yeah so that's what's going on here so. okay I'm back well I was telling you what was going on here so uh, probably in the next video I will be working on this um, is what I'm thinking or I might be in the field raking hey 
Um, my father-in-law cut a little bit yesterday, so either tomorrow, uh, actually today is Monday, June 10th, I think. So he cut some hay yesterday, and we'll uh, either be raking hay, hopefully tomorrow or definitely by Wednesday, because he's hoping to bail it Wednesday. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at something else here too. See if there's something else leaking here, but I know this is gonna come off anyways. I don't think it's leaking there. I think this is probably splashing up from all over down there. <laughs> you know, you keep looking at things and you know it's gonna, you're gonna find something. But, uh, all right, okay, well, that'll be it for this one. Sorry about the babbling. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain this oil, but actually, no, we'll do that in another video. Hey, appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one.